I don't believe it. I don't bloody believe it. I thought he wanted a break. I thought he wanted a break from football. Jurgen Klopp, official breaking news, has signed an extended contract at Liverpool, taking him to 2026. His current deal was up in 2024. He signed another two years. I thought he wanted a break. Talking about breaking news, before we get into it, you can see that we're sponsored by our friends at OneFootball. You'll hear me talking about OneFootball quite a lot on how I get a lot of my latest football news, transfer news and scores from OneFootball, which begs the question why you haven't actually downloaded it, because it's completely free. You can do it through the QR code on my screen. But talking about OneFootball, I use OneFootball as my number one destination for football news, transfer updates, player data, and of course the latest match day scores. I don't know how they do it at OneFootball, but they, I always seem to get my score notifications faxed through OneFootball. So if you want to be the most informed football fan in the world, then head to the description in the video description, or you can scan the code, which is right next to me now, and get all your latest football news from um, one football links in the description big shout out to them but back to the latest news Jurgen Klopp signing a new deal at Liverpool for two more years 2026 if you're a Liverpool fan this is fantastic and I mean look as a United fan um, how many years will Klopp have been at Liverpool in 2026 10 years I mean, we had Sir Alex Ferguson for a lot longer than that. So we can't moan about a, a club building a dynasty. And, and look, taking away my overreaction at the start, um, of course I'd love to see Jurgen Klopp leave Liverpool. I think Jurgen Klopp without Liverpool, there's a, there's a, there's a good chance that maybe they'll fall off a little bit. And I want them to fall off because um, I literally watched them last night. They're fantastic. I hate to say it, they're fantastic. I hate to say it, I actually like Jurgen Klopp. I should not like a Liverpool manager. It should not be possible. I like his passion. I like his transfers. I like his development. I like his style of football. In many ways, and I did a video a few years ago on this channel, he reminds me of the closest thing to Sir Alex Ferguson. And I think Liverpool fans don't want that, but I think he does. He loves to get his fullbacks forward, whacking crosses into the box, getting people in the box. He loves to play to the last second of every game. He's passionate. He's on the touchline. He leads the club like a politician. He is a fantastic leader for Liverpool. And if you take that away, it's very, very hard to replace. So, of course, as a rival fan of Liverpool, I'm disappointed he's signing a new contract. Because why would you not be disappointed about your rival having a much bigger chance of success until the year 2026? But... On the other hand, I'm also a firm believer. I don't really celebrate when rival players get injured. And I don't really celebrate... Well, I don't at all. That sounds like I do a little bit. Oh, he's injured. No, I don't celebrate when people get injured. And I, I also... If Liverpool win the quadruple this year, they'll be the greatest team on, on paper. United are, with the treble, in English football. But Liverpool will be. You can't live your life hoping somebody slips up. You know, not everyone's going to do a Gerrard. You've got to find a way to beat excellence. And if you can't beat excellence, you've got to put your hands up and say they are excellent. And Liverpool have the opportunity to do something very, very historic this season. I hope they're not going to do it. But if they don't do it this year, they might do it next year. They might do it in 2025. They might do it in 2026. Jurgen Klopp at Liverpool. It's a fantastic signing for them. Um, that is Jurgen there. Um, not really. But I think I think it's um, it's a fantastic piece of news for Liverpool. It's a fantastic bit of business for Liverpool. David Ornstein is basically saying that uh, Jurgen Klopp has, has agreed today to sign an extension to 2026. Um, he's only 54. He's only 54 as well, Jurgen Klopp. I always think of him a bit older than that. Um, his closest staff will sign deals uh, for a prolonged two years. Uh, prolong the deal for but two years from 2024 to 2026 official confirmation from Liverpool Football Club uh, will follow very soon and that's from David Ornstein with The Athletic so yes um, what does it mean for Liverpool's future well we're in, we're in 2022 so I mean they're already going for the title this year and he's here for another four years um, will he outstay Pep I think if Pep wins the Champions League he might the fire might go out a little bit. I think Pep wants that Champions League. He doesn't want to be a manager that couldn't win it with Bayern Munich and can't win it with Man City. So I think Pep will stay as long as the Champions League's there. But Pep might stay as long as Klopp's there because that is a battle. I, I don't like that battle much. I think it needs more passion to it. I think it's too friendly and respectful. Um, and I think Liverpool would do well to look at what United did with Wenger and Arsenal and poke Man City a little bit. I think, you know, a little bit of... A little bit of whatever, you know, banter or aggression or whatever. I think that would benefit. But Klopp's laid the lawn down. I'm going to be here till 2026. Pep, will he follow? 
I don't know. I think a lot depends on what happens this season. I think the next few weeks. I think if Pep wins the league and the Champions League, he might he might think you know, give it another year or so and I'm off. So be very interesting. But Liverpool, it's really important because Liverpool are not a checkbook club. And I really want to say this. I will call this out. And I've been quite positive about Klopp, and it's hard through gritted teeth. But the reality is. Where I will call out Klopp in a positive sense is say that he's not a checkbook manager. He hasn't had the open checkbook that maybe you get at Chelsea or maybe certainly you get at Man City. He hasn't had that. At Liverpool, it's been about a restructuring of that club from top to bottom. It's been about selling well to buy well. Their recruitment is fantastic. And with Liverpool having that for the next four years, it's, a, it's big for Liverpool fans, it's big for Klopp, it's big for the players. But Liverpool Football Club will have moved a lot for this because they know they've got the winning formula. It's what United had with Sir Alex in a way, where we didn't buy midfielders, especially in the latter years with the Glazers. He was winning trophies and titles despite the Glazers. We wanted midfielders. No, we haven't got it. Well, we'll win a title with bloody cleverly and Edison. And, and, and Anderson. So you probably could win it with Edison in the midfield, to be fair. But... You know, Klopp is, and I'm not saying the Liverpool owners are the Glazers, but if you are Liverpool's owners, he can get you success without spending 400 million every summer. Now, I'm not saying anybody does do that, but Man City have got a lot of money. Liverpool have had to be more prudent. And Klopp has been the architect of that. So for Liverpool, it's a no-brainer to try and get him to stay. And I think it was more about what I said at the start. I thought he wants a bloody break. I thought he wanted to go and have a break. I thought he wanted to go and spend a bit of time outside of football. But he's obviously enjoying himself. And times are good for Liverpool Football Club. And Klopp wants to be part of it. So, yeah, I'm disappointed as a rival. But I, I think disappointed's the wrong word. Because disappointed means I want him to, you know, walk off and turn his back on football. Which means he's not happy. I don't wish bad things on Klopp. If he wants to stay, then the Premier League benefits from it. My club probably doesn't. The rivals probably don't. But, as I said, let Klopp stay. Let him stay till 26. And if by some miracle United do turn it around and do compete, at least we're competing against the manager that we know is the best. Of course, I would take any cup at the moment. I'd take a cup of tea. But the reality is, if Klopp left and Gerrard came in and Liverpool were rubbish and United took their place, we're taking it because Liverpool have fallen off. If you can get to challenge... I mean, look, that if you're going to reach the stars, build something to build it that can reach the stars. And that's United's challenge. I don't really want us to get to the top because everyone else becomes crap. I want us to be the best. And the bar has been set very high by Klopp and Pep. Um, and he's going to be there for a little bit longer. Get your comments in below. What do you think? Make sure you smash a like on the video and subscribe. And uh, make sure you download... Um, the QR code, you can hold your camera on your phone up and download it for free. One football, all your latest football news. Give it a download, all the links in the description. Thanks everyone for watching. We are doing our next watch along is Liverpool against Newcastle at Newcastle on Saturday lunchtime. Um, big, big game in the title, but get your comments in below. What are your thoughts on Klopp staying for another two years to 2026?